Hey guys, welcome to snowy Sweden. On my way to the garage with the shovel, expecting a big delivery today. And yeah, I thought I'd show you the progress of the build of the dream garage. So, we're in the garage. I'll tell you everything I did and we have some cleaning up to do before the bomb jobs. So as you might know, I had to leave my little non-heated shed where I had my bikes and the tools and stuff like that. Just by accident, I found this magic cave. It was to, supposed to be uh, just temporary, but when I saw this place, um, I knew I was, go I was in for it for the long run here. So since then, I've bought some um, secondhand furniture for the lounge area so we can hang out and chill with the whole Nomad team. I added some shelves to keep the camping equipment and some other bar related stuff. Um, and I made a section for the riding gear and helmets and boots and everything like that. So, so that part is slowly coming to place. Of course, also make it uh, possible to sleep over here. And Seymour was here and we, of course, he doesn't sleep on flat surfaces. He need a hammock, so we made sure we had one of those. It's still a lot of echoes. I have to do something about sound. But this section where the bikes are, I'll show you. Yeah, so here's the parking section for the bikes and yeah, for the um, workshop section, I, would, I just have my old gear, the, the odd tools that I managed to gather up. Um, and that's the big thing that's happening today. I'm getting a big delivery to really sort out this place. I can't wait to show you. There's a big truck on its way. I'm expecting a call any second. And yeah, we'll drag everything in here. But first I have to sort of make room uh, in here to move everything out. So there it is, the SIS app alert. Since I'm moving the bike now without starting it, someone is moving your bike. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> this little Suzuki is a gem. It's a 1983 Suzuki GSX400E. So after the learning bike, my son bought this Kawasaki 650, set 650 or something like that. But this is too loud, so I'm moving it by riding. Let's go. and clean up this place. Just move it around somewhere. Okay, a little clue. The workshop is coming into place. Now, what a place. And today I worked from here instead of going to the office. Yeah, I'm waiting for the delivery, but I tend to spend more and more time here. I wonder why. It's here.
So what's all this? Well, the hangout part is all coming together. But from my old shed, I had only the, the odd tools and wrenches and nothing else really. So when I got this place, I opened that large door and cried out for help. I want to build my dream workshop here. And Homeworks answered the call. They said, we'll help you to get your uh, dream garage. And they assisted me in picking um, yeah, what I need and everything. So it's all here in these boxes. I'll show you more and, and, and so on while we pack up and build this workshop. And I'm so stoked. <laughs> okay, so let's start this playing, playing. Actually, I'm saving this for last because now I know what it is and it's the crown jewel. Yeah, you might have guessed already. Homeworks, they make garage interiors, toolboxes and wagons and all kinds of stuff. So this will be like the mirage. So let's start. These are all cabinets and things. And I chose Homeworks because they are sort of aiming for my type. The, the home fixer and, and home garages and things like that. And that's why they have quite good prices. Perhaps this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. The first cabinet. So this will be part of a four meter long workbench with all the cabinets and drawers and everything. Up with the dress, another drawer cabinet. It's locked, so I need the key to open it, but I can have all the tools in here and stuff like that, so yeah. So Homeworks is from Sweden and Småland, just like Ikea, but I'm so glad that these come pre-assembled so I don't have to. That doesn't go like that. Oh, fuck off assemble everything so it's just ready to just push in there so cool oh a top drawer Whew. all right it's my mechanic seat this could serve as a pillion seat on the T7 also. Easy mounting and raise and lower. Great for that. Woo! Yay! Really nice. What's up, what's down? This is down, I think. This goes on the wall for, yeah, compressors, of course. Come on. We can just roll out of here. Compressor. I did get a lot of exercise from the hand pump, but I'm over 50 now. I need a compressor. Karate, karate. That last one was Taekwondo, by the way. Everything's unpacked, except for the last box. Stay for that. Um, feels really good. And I only, only saw it on pictures, but the, the finish, it feels really rigid and high quality. So really nice. I'm going to organize that here now and see how I can arrange it. I have a thing in mind. The, the floor is uneven here, but there are adjustable screws, so I can do that. There is a nice video from their website exactly explaining what to do. So you have that video, so I don't have to show you that, but it's very convenient. So... 
we can see it almost now. The big tool wall, the cabinets, top boxes. Again, for those GS riders could be a top box with easy access, but these are getting up there. New day, new t-shirt, everything is assembled and put where it should be. Uh, last step now is to get all the hooks and loops and forks and stuff like that up on the wall so I can position the uh, tools. But now it's time for the big heavy box that uh, I told you about earlier. So let's roll that in. The mobile tool wagon. And it looks like an old Volkswagen to me. Just check out these details. This wagon or wheelie box <laughs> uh, I'll use for when working on the bike. I can bring it with me around the bike and I will have all the tools here that I usually use when I work with the bike. And I can also open the sides both sides and I have all the bolts and screws and light. I have a sort of a tray where I can have screws and bolts, mashed potatoes and peas in the other side. So now let's fill everything up, put everything in place and let's make this workshop ready for the next video series of things I want to do. Uh, and I have a lot of space around the bike now. Excuse me, but I couldn't do this before. Looks pretty clean, doesn't it? Everything that I had on the floor here now, it looks like I haven't filled anything here, but actually everything that I own, all the stuff and parts and tools, they are already in the drawers. So let's check out where I put everything and how I will work. Here, just a few chemicals. Here's different kinds of uh, lube and brake cleaner, WD-40, chain. In here, the T7 old decapitated head. And in here, used parts for the T7. In this cabinet, cleaning stuff. Uh, yeah, cleaning, rust protectant, um, some different oils for air filters and engine oil and things like that. So everything is not arranged, but just some odd tools here and, and tape. This uh, for, for hanging things on the wall. Empty. Oh, this is uh, perhaps the next video. Small electrical parts, more electric stuff. And here we have also some small parts, like, yeah. And these are original extra stuff that I've ordered but not used. And these are wear parts, like uh, new filters and springs and uh, clutch plates, brake pads. So there we have it. You can understand my state of emotions right now because we went through an evolution here in, in a way. We went from the Neanderthal cave to the man cave. Eh? So I'm so looking forward to making the next workshop videos here while we wait the winter out. But until then we'll make some videos about the brake fix now and some other things that I need to do on, on the bike and yeah, just hang around here. Um, and if you want to check back on the old shed, there's the video where we made the soft, uh, hot and quick grips for, for the T7 or any other bike really. So 
have a look at that and see you in the next video. Thanks you. Bye bye. Thanks you. Thanks you. Thanks you is not a word.